Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Today I'm going to be doing the monthly reads for August 2020 and I am going to be reading for the lovely Librans. So if you are new to my channel, I tend to pull out some foundation cards which then allows me to do my little bit of meditative poetry at the end, hence my name Poetry Witch. Normally on my monthly reads I draw out a charm on my regular basis but because I'm going on the angel theme this month then I've got the feathers to pull out at the end which uh, reflect the seven archangels to see what angel will be around and influence you as well in the month of August. So without further ado Libra the first card that comes out for you is this card here and it's got trust okay. And when I looked at, when you look at the picture of this card, it's as though you've got everything around you, what you need at the moment, okay, and have done for quite some time. It's as though some of my Librans out there are looking to leave the nest, if that makes sense. And it's as though the person who is close to you at the moment, okay, whoever's around you now this could be symbolic it doesn't have to be on a romantic it can be everything that you love around you okay uh, like your job your family a partnership whatever is there at the moment in place okay that's sort of sustaining you and and everything else it's as though you're looking further afield Okay, it's as though everything is there around you, okay, but the Librans I'm picking up with, it's not enough. It's as though, yeah, you could have the good job there in place. You could have the good support from a family network or friend network, okay, but it's as though deep down you just keep looking for something or searching for something more if that makes sense Libra okay so the next card that comes out for you is the ego okay and it's got collapse here and I want to put these two cards together because it's as though the world that you're in at the moment the things that are around you as I said are sustaining you there's love there, there's stability, there's everything your needs are met, okay? But there's something within you that you just feel is missing. And this could be like the ego part of you where the message comes in and it's like to say, for some of you, is it worth destroying everything around you that is sustaining you? just for chasing a pipe dream for some of you okay because I just feel that you've got two avenues to go down here you can just keep ticking along as things are are and um, as in the here and now just take it on a daily basis okay or if you keep having this future vision then to move ahead which some of you could have to, fly, you know, you feel like you want to fly the nest, okay? You want to fly the nest. You've had enough being in that environment. It could be people who, you know, um, have, may have lived with their parents for a long time and now it's time for you to fly the nest, okay? Because you've got your own life to live. It could also be, as I said, on a romantic, where even though you feel loved and supported and everything else, and the person who you're with has got no idea, okay, because as far as they're concerned, you know, they're happy with you and everything else. Yet yeah, it's as though, as I said, it's just as though you feel there's something missing or there's just an element that you keep future directing to, okay. It's, it's a hard one to sort of explain this is, but I'll, I am going to try my best and, and, and muddle through it for you. But... All I'm saying is, for change to happen, there always has to be a collapse of the cons of the existing environment. So you could uproot sticks. This could be in your career, where you've been in a long-standing career that you've absolutely loved, okay? But there's just something, you feel like there's a calling 
there's like this calling to you um where you just feel an attachment somewhere along the line that yeah you do feel loved you do feel supported you could be in a job that you've done for so many years but you feel like there's you there's you, you're missing out on something okay leaves you feel like you're missing out on something but in order for that to come into fruition okay we have to collapse one landscape for another one to come in and it's it's saying here yeah trust your instincts okay if 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 you feel what is around you isn't sustaining you even though those around you feel that that it's enough for you then you've got to trust your own instincts here you know it's like putting things under the magnifying glass as do you cut your nose off to spite your face for some pipe dream? I want to say pipe dream for some of you, okay? Because it's one of these gambles, isn't it, where you could sort of fly the nest and then you think to yourself, man, I'm in a worse situation than I was if I stayed there. But it's saying you've got to trust your gut feeling, okay? Just tr trust your gut feeling. And yet if chaos comes from it, then fair enough, okay? Because if at the end of the day the outcome is what you wanted then you do follow, you know, what is meant for you, so, or what is divinely going to be put in place. So the next card that comes out for you, Libra, is the uh, Ten of Earth. And when I looked at this, these are the people I feel that are your support network at the moment, okay? So it's basically saying the Ten of Earth there, that people around you are grounded enough to understand that um, you aren't happy with everything that is currently around you. So there's a big realisation here in the month of August where you literally survey your landscape, okay? It could be that um, there's a situation where you're living at the moment and yeah, you feel okay in that environment but there's like other elements that are destructing your peace your quiet and everything else so then that's when your heart starts thinking to itself yeah i'm okay i've got a nest here i've got more su sustenance here and everything but there's there's other elements creeping in okay there's other elements creeping in because if you look at this card here in the metaphorical sense it's as though Everything here, as I said, the love, the support and everything is right under the nest there, root, deep rooted. But then you've got this outside element here, sort of um, encroaching on the, on, the, on the outside. Or this could be people who are trying to um, come in and disrupt this uh, setup, okay, this environment this house you live in this job that you're in okay it's as though somebody's trying to you know uh upset the balance here and that's why the ego and the collapse come in so the ego comes in where if you're in a job at the minute and you think to yourself i could do better than this okay i could get more money than this and that's where the ego trips in on there so it's just saying for the month of August, you've got to start to trust your own instincts, okay? But be grounded in the sense of your choosing and not to be just swept away by your ego and your fantasy world. Because I want to say fantasy world now for some of you, okay? That's not going to resonate with all of you. And it's, this is a hard one to try and explain, okay? So I'm going to carry on. <laughs> and the next card that came out was um, the Ace of Swords. I'm going to look at the Ace of Swords. It's about the Ace of Swords in the natural tarot is cutting away the dead wood, okay? Making changes. And But when I look at this Ace of Swords, it's as though it's a projector, okay? So there was a projection here, I feel. And we've got a, um, the dark crow here. So there's, this is going back to your past. It's as though you keep projecting and going over thoughts of, of past happenings, okay? The message is saying if it's relationships, jobs, whatever the scenario, then you've got to be honest, okay? Be grounded and honest enough. So, 
The animal spirit that comes out for you, Libra, is the vulture, which is the alchemical sign of air. It's your own uh, sign, okay? And the vulture, this is your energy that you're taking on, and it's like to say as harsh and the reality as it may be, where you're picking the bones of everything. It's like you pick right down to the bones of the nitty gritty, getting right down to the root of your life, okay, in all aspects. And that is why the vulture is coming out. So August to me is a massive big overall, um, overhaul of your life in general, your work ethic, your family, your friends, your relationships. And it's saying, you know, you do keep, you have got this attachment to something in the past that you cannot seem to get over, okay? And it's as though you need to get this out of your system, some of you, so that you can uh, put it to bed once and for all. I feel like it's a soul searching type of scenario, okay? But it's saying here, do it off a grounded principle and not just off a whim because you could end up getting your fingers really, really burnt. But that's a decision and that's something that you need to trust yourself, okay? So I am going to open this up a little bit more just to get some more clarity on this for your leaps. Oh, and I just definitely want you to drop out before I even shuffled. So I'll keep that one there just for a second. And I'll just get another one out for you. Right, let's get another card out. So the one that wanted to drop out was this one. Oh, well. And it's the Six of Cups, okay? And this is basically just saying, you know, this is this is everything that is sort of, in a metaphorical sense, you know, a sense of belonging. A um, family element may be what is missing as such. You could have family around you, but you don't feel part of a family, if that makes sense. And it's as though this is where... This is where the inner soul searching becomes in, where you feel like you, you, you want to feel like you belong somewhere more concrete, okay? With the, with the um, ten of earth there being grounded, you don't feel grounded in the, in the current situation or the current house that you live in, the current job that you're in, the current partnership that you're in, you're in okay? So, oh well. And we've got the Ten of Cups here. And it's just saying, the Ten of Cups is just saying this is strengthening the Six of Cups cards here. Again, it's just your mindset, your, your thought processes where you just wished um, you felt everything was how you want it. Okay, like they're sitting on the, uh, the cusp of a rainbow here. Okay. Everything is fulfilled, they've got family, they're settled and everything. It's back to this settled element again. So let's just clarify the Ten of Cups. So this is what you're searching for. You're searching for belong you feel like you wanna you feel like you wanna belong and um I just feel at the moment it's coming to a head of a realisation that, you know, for some of you your soul searching okay soul searching so let's just get another card out for you libra okay and we have <laughs> we've got the anchor which is the nine of spades and it's number 35 three and five add up to eight and it's the infinity sign but the anchor here is saying you want to feel grounded, you want to feel in a solid relationship, you want to feel in a solid workplace, a solid family environment. So it could be that this card here is saying this is your vision of where you would like to be because at the end of the day, this is looking out to the future and it's like this is what you, you are after. You're after the love, the stability, the feeling of belonging okay so this is where we're getting to now it's like a sense of belonging um of, and, and being on solid ground because having the anchor come up there this is what you're this is where it's saying you feel like you're not grounded you feel like you're just being moved along by the 
by the storm and I want to say storm like the waters are stormy as well for some of you okay so let's just clarify the nine of spades okay and we've got the high priestess so soul searching again there's this massive soul searching gonna be going on in the month of august and i do feel like because we've got curtains here i look at the curtains on the high priestess card and it's like saying you need you feel like you want to you feel like some of you have been hidden as well okay um but that's been of your own choosing some of you but it's saying you've got to get in your positive mindset and decide now where you need to be focusing on do you stay in the situation that you're in which you trust okay like i say you trust the people around you you trust the environment and as i say this could be to do with house moves whether you don't feel settled in the house that you're in the job that you're in the partnership that you're in okay but you've got to do some real ground searching here and that is why you're taking on the vulture element to literally start picking at the bones of everything leaves so let's just get another card okay <laughs> i love this card and it's the seven of clubs and it's the mice okay it's about fulfillment in your own environment okay uh whatever it's like food for thought so you know food for thought here needs to be done and it needs to be done carefully because the ego could trip in here massive where on a whim you could think you know what maybe there is something better further afield and then the ego starts to kick in and um you know take over but just to be mindful the people around you okay aren't blinded okay that they are they are they see more than you realize okay and take on more than you realize but it's just saying then that that's where the trust comes in because the trust then is broken isn't it between you know a partnership if that's the case and you're not being uh upfront and honest with them so what i'm going to do now is pull out one of these uh soul spirit cards as well okay so let's just shuffle these and see what comes out for you, Libra. We'll dig in. Okay. And we have inspiration. Okay. And it says, Your love, light and wisdom touch the hearts and minds of many. You will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspiration and healing result. Okay, so inspiration there is just saying um, you will have periods where you're inspired by things around you, um, things coming in as well. And again, it's just because of the third eye element here, it's about the soul searching. And this is to me is just, um, so, you know, cementing this reading really saying your love, light and wisdom touch the hearts and minds of many, which they do. Okay, Libra, you do touch the hearts and minds of many. Um, and it's got, in helping another person change the course of their life, miracles, inspiration and healing result. So you've just basically got to do what you feel is necessary. Okay, is necessary for you. I am going to pull out one more card just for the energy for the end of the month for you. And let's see what this says. And we have the moon. So the moon here is just saying you will feel like you are drowning emotionally because whatever goes through your mindset is really going to affect you emotionally. And um, having the moon here, because we've got the two wolves here, it's like the cry of the wolf. The cry of the wolf, I feel like it's again knocking onto your energy because i feel there is something like i said from your past that you cannot sort of lay put to bed put to rest but it's it's affecting you emotionally libra 
okay so this is something that you need to address i'm just going to get a clarifier on that card for you okay and we have the nine of hearts and when i look at this it's like uh, being on a merry-go-round and you're sort of holding on to communication here and it's like, do I send that communication out or don't I? Okay, so it's like to say, if you let that communication go out, then you are on the merry-go-round then and there's no getting off until um, you've gone through whatever process it is. It could be that you are thinking about, as I said, changing your job. But once that letter of application goes in the post box, that gets it, it, the momentum moving. If it's to do with a house change, okay, once that application goes in, it starts the roundabout off so it's basically saying there are you prepared are you ready for the ride because if you whatever it is the communication that you want to put out there if as soon as it goes out then dicking off for your leaps so what i'm going to do now is uh pick one of these feathers out for you okay so let's just have a flick around libra and let's have a look what comes out for you and i feel like i want to go with that one and it is Archangel Gabriel, the messenger, okay? So, there's a link in my description box below which will describe the reasoning why Gabriel uh, comes around and what the meaning is on that angel. So without me going into too much detail, okay? But Gabriel is the messenger, so there's information gonna be coming in or information gonna be sent out, okay? But I'm not gonna give you the full uh, breakdown there, just check. Um, in the description box below, below and it will tell you the, the full meaning just search for the angel Gabriel and that will touch on that what I'm going to do now is read my little bit of meditative poetry okay so we have trust what you have around you is everything you need you are loved unconditionally so why be tempted to leave and fly the nest and destroy everything and the hard work you have done. A leopard never changes their spots, what's in the past, so sets with the sun. Yet your mind is like a projector, bringing memories to life. The grass isn't always greener, and worry and strife may be creeping in. Yet from the opposite side, you may feel threatened by someone trying to come in between you when it's all in your mind. You are but a sitting duck, yet your partner isn't blind. He or she senses the vulture ready to sweep in for the attack. But are you the vulture in disguise who will stab them in the back? It will be the collapse of an empire, but deep in their hearts they always knew. Maybe they were never going to be ever enough for you. Trust what you have around you, so will be a struggle and a test. Take stock what you will be losing if you decide to fly the nest. So I just feel um, whatever environment, family, friends, job, you know, it may be that those colleagues and everything around you may have known that, you know, that they weren't good enough for you. They may have thought in the back of their minds, they always knew that you were anchoring for something better. Okay, so, and then the messages I also had was, um, Charlie, the house in Scotland will be the one for you. Angela, there's going to be news of twins. Brian, let them have the money. It's not worth the fight. The universe will repay you in other ways. And Vanessa, um, Vanessa, they are coming back. Okay, so these are little messages that I had added on uh, via spirit. Okay, so that's not going to resonate with all of you, but anybody who's tuning in, who've got anybody of those names around you in family, then this could be significant to them okay so my lovely Librans, this was a deep one okay this was a deep one for the month of august um so it's you know a big big decision just to be honest and upfront and don't be the vulture that does things behind people's backs because at the end of the day it's just to say you know we've got the black and white wolf here and it's best to be black and white and upfront and have the trust there then do something underhanded so my lovely librans i leave that with you until next time if you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing 
and I will look forward to reading to you in September. Take care then, bye. Thank you.